Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guests who are from a unique city in Texas known as The Colony. It really is a suburb of Dallas and we're going to be talking about The Colony with our guest today who happens to be the mayor of the city and the city manager. I'd like you to meet them right now. First on my left, Joe McCrory, the mayor, and on his left, Troy Powell, who's the city manager. Gentlemen, welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you very much for having us. Let me point out, uh, Joe, just before, a little while ago, you had a chance to answer some questions from William Shatner, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's take a brief look at a portion of that and see how it went, okay? Oh, great. It's not easy to succeed in today's competitive world. Describe for me, briefly, what it is you do and why you think you've been successful. And does that have anything to do with moving America forward. Mr. Shatner, as mayor of the city of the Colony, Texas, I work hard for our citizens, ensuring our great city continues to be a model for cities all over America. The city council and I are helping to move America forward by creating an environment with low crime, low taxes, sustainability without sacrificing services, a city where everyone can develop and live the American dream. You know, that's very interesting. You make it sound like this is a very special place indeed. Am I right? Oh, this is absolutely a special place. All right, tell me about the colony, and why are you here to talk about it? Well, we're here to tell you why, you know, the colony is a place, that, a destination that everyone should come to. This is a city where the government believes, you know, that service is number one, where our citizens deserve to have the very best uh, customer service and our businesses, we're very business friendly. The other thing about the, the colony is, is that we have a very, you know, we, we include everybody uh, rather than have this diversity that is separate. So we believe in including everybody where, you know, whether you're a white collar worker or a blue collar worker, we all live next door to each other and we're all dedicated to building our city to be the greatest city in America. You know, this is really, I didn't mean to throw you off there, yeah. but you, I've been to Dallas many times and the surrounding area. I've never heard of the colony. How, how old is the colony, by the way? It's not brand new. The, the colony is 35 years old. Okay. Uh, just celebrated our 35th anniversary not too long ago. Okay. Uh, and that's one of the unique things about the colony. It's got a 100, 150 year history, while at the same time we're developing a whole new future. And, and how many people live there at this point? We have around 40,000 people. I mean, that's pretty substantial. And you're, you're, you're a little north of Plano, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, so yeah. everybody's, everybody knows Plano. It, they don't know the colony. And your goal is to get them to know the colony. Absolutely. Absolutely. Better than Plano. Better than Plano. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> listen, it's called the City by the Lake. I have a picture here that will give you an idea why it's called the City by the Lake. Now, you know, I've been to Texas a lot, and you don't see many lakes like this in Texas. Texas is pretty flat and arid, you know, and dry. Right. Where, how big is this lake? I, I don't know the full acreage of this lake. I can tell you that the picture that you are looking at right yeah. there is of the old American golf course. It is one of two uh, of the best courses in Texas that's set in the colony, and this is right on the shore of the lake. All right. So let's talk about the colony. Obviously, I was kidding when I said, why are you here to talk about it? You're the mayor of the city. You're the city manager. You're here to promote the city and get other people around the country to know about it uh, because there are a lot of advantages to, number one, come to Texas and open businesses. And for those who live in Texas, there are advantages to come to the colony. How do you, how, for, for people who live in other states who are thinking of starting businesses, right. you know, your governor is constantly promoting Texas as a great place okay. to have business. Why would the colony be great to come and, and open a business? Well, from a business standpoint, we are very business friendly. Okay. You know, we are there to help businesses get started and, and come to our, our city and, and develop their product, whatever it is that they are there to sell or do. From, and of course with business comes families. And in families, we have absolutely the best community there is. We are a playful city USA. 
Okay, we are one of 150 cities across the United States that was chosen as a Playful City USA. We were uh, chosen uh, by Sports Illustrated on their 50th anniversary as the city in Texas that represents sports in America. So we're the only city in Texas that is that. We were one of 50 cities chosen you know, through this uh, award by uh, Sports Illustrated. I think that's terrific. Uh, also, I want you to point out, Troy, Tro there is a really big development underway right now that's going to be completed within the next year. Tell me a little bit and describe how big this thing is and the importance of it. Absolutely, Doug. One of the uh, exciting projects of many that we have going on in the Colleen currently is a partnership that we develop with the Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart is a company that's owned by Berkshire Hathaway, uh, backed up by Warren Buffett. So they're a company that's been in business for almost 100 years. Um, and they are opening the United States' largest single-purpose retail store within uh, the city limits of the Colony, Texas. I understand that this store, correct me if I'm wrong, is going to be the size of something like 40 football fields. Correct. That is correct. Um, are, are you kidding? No. Yeah. I know a, Texas, everything has to be bigger in Texas, but this is getting a little crazy. Yes, this is, uh, the store itself is going to be 1.8 million square feet. Uh, the development that it sits within is called Grandscapes. Grandscapes itself is 430 acres. Uh, it's going to be a premier, uh, not just in the state of Texas, but in the United States of America. It's going to be the premier destination for entertainment, retail shopping, spending time with your family. It's going to be an amazing, amazing development. Well, I must say, that sounds extraordinary. The other thing is you are talking about great for businesses. It's also great for families. And the idea is that people will come to uh, your city and they will live and work there. They won't have to commute into Dallas for their job. Right? Exactly. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, the state of Texas did a uh, survey and, and uh, did an analysis of the project that we were putting together. And, and they find that, you know, we could bring 20,000 jobs right there to the colony with this project that we're trying to put on the ground, as well as the other developments that will come with that and locate in our city 20,000 jobs. That's what we're doing to move America forward. Another advantage, of course, is an advantage of Texas. It's a, there are no state taxes, right? Right. It's no a income big tax. Plus, no right. income tax. That's what I mean. So that's a huge advantage. And then, you know, you talk about playful city. Here, let me hold this picture up, get the camera, get a shot of this. This is an, it's kind of an example of what you're talking about. What am I looking at here? This is Hawaiian Falls. This is a water park that we have there in town. Uh, they hire our, our high school students and, and college kids that are coming back uh, for the summer as lifeguards in order to, you know, work there. So this is one of the businesses that we partner with uh, that's there in the city. And they employ our, our kids and, and, and uh, teachers and everything right there. Another thing, a big thing that you push is the fact that it's not only friendly, but there's a low crime rate. Absolutely. Yeah, we, have the, on that. we have the lowest crime rate in our region, uh, which is, is very important to us. Safety and security, it's all part of that quality of life equation that we really uh, are trying to illustrate in our community. The, we want people to feel comfortable walking their kids to school. Uh, we want people to feel safe in their homes, to go enjoy our trails, our hike and bike trails. Uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of miles of hike and bike trail that surround the lake. Uh, that we have in our community. We want people to feel safe uh, partaking in these and so far we've been very successful in that. We have 23 miles of shoreline on, on Lake Louisville yeah. and we have you know wetlands. We, we have partnered with the Corps of Engineers, uh, the U.S. Corps of Engineers in order to, to build these uh, hike and bike trails right there on the edge of the lake and uh, provide a, a you know a nature experience that is hard to find anywhere. So in essence, the people who live there now, I mean, they're going to be the beneficiaries of all of this great development that's going on. Do the majority of them stay there or are they, are they commuters who work in, in, in other areas? And is that a, a big issue? Commuting can be a problem in Dallas, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Little, traffic is not great. C commuting can be a problem. And right now there are a lot of our residents that commute out of the city. Right. Uh, but with this development, with the other developments that we're uh, bringing into the city, we're hoping to keep more and more people there in town and, and working at a local job. Stop that commute. Uh, hopefully, you know, save them some money uh, insurance-wise. You know, I, I, and it's uh, from my own knowledge, I mean, I've spent a good bit of time in, in Texas and in Dallas. You really can get a substantial kind of home 
fairly reasonable when you compare what home prices are in other per areas of the country, can't you? We have some of the most, uh, you know, realistic prices there for real estate. I mean, you can get everything from, you know, the $100,000 starter home for, you know, that beginning family, right. you know, up to the million dollar homes, you know, for the executives and, and presidents of companies. So it, we, we have that whole gamut that's available, uh, you know, throughout our city. I'M ALSO IMPRESSED BY THE FACT THAT you're, you, WE'RE IN LOS ANGELES, YOU'RE HERE SPEAKING ON BEHALF OF THE CITY, BUT YOU'RE GOING TO OTHER PLACES AROUND THE COUNTRY TO PROMOTE THE COLONY. WHAT KIND OF REACTION DO YOU GET WHEN YOU EXPLAIN ABOUT YOUR CITY? KIND OF LIKE YOU, EVEN HAVING BEEN TO TEXAS, IT'S THE COLONY WHERE WE EXPLAIN. AND, and THAT'S, YOU KNOW, THE GREAT BENEFIT OF THIS PROGRAM, GIVES US THAT ABILITY TO GET THAT WORD OUT THERE, BECAUSE THIS IS THE MOST HAPPENING PLACE I IN TEXAS. And, and in the Midwest for, you know, economic development uh, as a whole. Yeah. So you have bright, bright plans for the future? Absolutely. Think? We're in a dynamic region, yeah. one of the most dynamic regions in the country. And in order to get your message out and get noticed in that kind of region, yeah. we needed a catalyst. The Grandscapes yeah. Project and our partnership with Ber Berkshire Hathaway was that catalyst. And now we're out spreading that message. We want people to understand that the colony embraces everybody. They need to come take a look at it and see all the exciting things that are happening. Well, you got a great story to tell. There's no question about that. And come on, let's yeah. face it. Texas is a great place. Anyway. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us. This has been very interesting indeed. Thank you. Thank you. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation that it is today. And now, let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Joe McCory and Troy Powell of The Colony, Texas for the outstanding work they are doing to help keep moving America forward. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to give this to you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Also, I'd like to give you a little memento of, of our being here. Here is a pen with the city's name on it. Uh, on behalf good. of myself, uh, Mr. <laughs> Powell, uh, the staff, uh, the city council, which you know are all represented here on this, and we very much appreciate that. Uh, we, we definitely have a great story, and people really need, if they want to come look for a job, we're providing jobs, and they need to come to move to one of the best communities they'll ever find in America. The Colony, Texas. Thank you, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneur's who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.